welcome to the ES Framework Tutorial, Part 1. What we're going to be doing in this series is covering how to build a single page application that uses TM1 as a data source through Enterprise Services, and then using the Enterprise Services Framework for building what we call a single page application. So the first thing we need to do is we need to start off and create our directory that we're going to be pointing our web server to. So uh, what I've done here is I've created this web app folder and I've copied in the framework. The other thing that we'll need to do is add in our folders, just the standard HTML application folders, if you will, images, styles, and then we'll create a new folder called HTML. Now the HTML uh, location is where we're going to be storing our modules and in this folder what we're going to be creating is simply the initializer. So this will be just an HTM page that starts up the application. Let's go ahead and bring in our editor and you can see that it has added those folders that I just added here. So let's create a new file default.htm and let's just test to make sure that we've got everything configured properly so we're going to do html and then we'll do body and we'll just say hello world okay and we'll test that out so let's bring up the browser and we'll go to our directory where we've got that located and there's our hello worlds. So, okay, so we're in good shape. Our server's working properly and now we're ready to actually start building the initializer for the framework. Now to do this uh, in the head section, we need to add a script. And this script is the ES framework script. So SRC equals ES framework in that directory we mentioned and there is the esframework.js. Okay, so this will bring in the um, all the source files so that we can connect that with our application here. So the next thing we'll do within the body is we need to create where we want the framework to begin working on. So there's an area that we're going to create here. And so why don't we do that through a div? And we're going to create this section here is going to be our ES page um, header. And then we'll create another section here. And this one actually will do ID equals ES page content. So this is our page header. And if you look back at the application itself, so let's go back to the original. This is our header, and then our application area is in here. So this is what we're going to be tying the framework initializer to. And then this part up here is just the standard HTML. So let's go back here. And what we need in that is a icon. So we'll do IMG. And we're going to place in that directory, we're going to place something called header icon. Okay, and the style, we want that to sit on the left side. So we're going to do float left and width is uh, 50 pixels. Okay, so that's the size there. And then the other thing that we had on there was a um, header for the application. So that's a span. And class equals, let's just call that ES header text. And that style is going to be heading left. We want to space that out so it's 20 pixels. And it's going to be titled ES planning. Okay, so this is our page header and then our page content. We're now ready to start putting in 
the initializer for the framework and that's done through another script tag now this is part of the HTML and there is a function that we need to execute here it's ES framework dot init and this takes several parameters so we're going to set up those parameters here so the first one is the settings and then what we want to do after the initialization has been complete so let's set up a var here settings okay now there's a lot of different settings we can set up here but what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, where the framework actually resides so es framework url and that is es framework so that's where it can find all the rest of the source files and then the other one we'll do is we'll add a theme here and we're going to use the bootstrap. And so this just has some default colors and some default um, styles when we put in, for example, headers or we put in widgets and we'll have those um, pre-styled for us. The uh, other thing we need to do is put in a function which controls uh, when the initialization is complete so we could do additional uh, functionality. So let's call this one var handler and that's a function no parameters there and it doesn't do anything at this point okay so now the initializer what it takes are four parameters the first parameter is the ID of the element that we're going to bind the framework to and we go back to the page here again that is this section here all of this section and not including the header that's what we're going to bind it to so we called that one our page content. So let's go ahead and ES page content. And then what we need to define at this point is the module which is going to contain what you see in this page here. It's in this particular case it's the um, tab strip up here and there's this dashboard. For now, what we're going to do is we're just going to create another Hello World version. And we'll do that in HTML, app main.htm, followed by our settings, and then finally the complete handler. So this is all you need to put in the initializer script. Uh, basically, where do you find the ES framework source files? What color theme do you want to start up with? And then the ID of the div section where you're going to start the first module and then the first module name we're going to store that in app main Let's save this and in HTML we're going to create a new file call it app main okay and so this one will again be similar it'll be just HTML body and we'll do the same hello world so let's do hello world so nothing special here but what we're going to show is that um, the initializer is going to start up that module and display it now I don't have any images yet here that I've defined as header icon and styles so I'm just going to go ahead and copy those into my folder so let's go ahead and do that so let's take my styles and bring that in and then I'm going to bring in the image for the header. So that's the header icon. Let's bring that in. And let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the styles. There's really not much in the styles here. It's, it's simply uh, just the background color and the height. So nothing here that we've done that is specifically uh, framework related. So, okay, we are done. We now can bring up the application and let's go ahead and see what it looks like that we have now. So we have um, ES employee planning and hello world. This instantiated the module, but I have no styles yet. So let's go ahead and add that into the application. So that's in our default. And let's go ahead and put in a link to that style sheet that we created. type is text CSS and
the style sheet that we added was um, styles. Oops. Styles. And that was app styles.css. And let's bring up uh, back to the default. And there is our employee planning with the Hello World initialized as a module. 